Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Why do I sound so croaky? Um, today I'm just going to show you my updated makeup routine. I know I haven't done a video on here in such a long time, honestly I am aware of that. and um, just so many things. Um, if you ever want like a video of, of that, then let me know, I'm happy to film that. Um, but yeah, today I'm just gonna do an updated makeup routine um, because a lot of the products I, I use and the way I do certain things now has changed. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. Um, but yeah. So yeah, my hair looks like trash. I will address that later in the video. Let me just give it a little brush. So firstly, I'm gonna just put on some moisturiser. I'm just using this one by Simple. Um, but to be honest, actually, I've been using this one for ages. So, obviously, I've already cleaned my face. Uh, so, it's all clean and dry. Just using some eye cream. This is just by Simple again, which is soothing eye balm. I'm just gonna pop that under my eyes because sometimes you get like crepey eyes, which is not cute. For primer, I'm gonna be using these two. I've really been liking e.l.f. products lately. So I'm gonna use this one all over my face, which is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is meant to be a dupe for the milk makeup. And it's kind of like a really weird consistency. I'll see if I can show you. It's like a gel. Kind of reminds me of like one of them stick on face masks. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. And it does kind of make your face like sticky, but I feel like it helps your makeup like stick on. And then the other one, which is the Paulus Putty Primer. I put that just around my nose. I'll just add a bit more. But yeah, um, e.l.f. products are like really affordable. Um, the foundation I use now is actually by e.l.f. as well. I'm just gonna take this one, which is like a silicone kind of based primer, and I'm just gonna pop that around my nose, just where I do have a few large pores. gonna pat that in and then I will just let um, the primer obviously sink into my skin for a little bit probably like just a few minutes before I actually go ahead and do my foundation. So for foundation I've been using a mixture of the elf flawless satin foundation which is this one and then also the revolution super dewy skin tint um, and they just make a really nice combination so I've been enjoying more of a dewy finish to my foundation rather than a matte finish. So the colour I've got here is pearl, I think, pearl, and then this is just in medium light. So I just get some of this on the back of my hand, like one pump, and then a little bit of this, just to give me a bit of dewiness. And I like to put it on with a brush first, I'm just gonna mix that, like make a little foundation cocktail. That here. And I'm just going to buff that in with the brush first, and then I will go in and use my beauty blender. Oh, it's not a beauty blender, it's a real techniques one, which is really old, and I really need to replace it. But yeah, firstly, I will just dab this in. I really like this foundation because it's like, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing loads of makeup. It gives like a really nice coverage, but it also, yeah, it's just not too cakey and I really, I really like that. I 
I'm going to be using the NYX Born to Glow and the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in 05 and this one is in... I don't even know. What is this? Oh, Light Ivory. So <clears throat> the Born to Glow one, I normally, I'm really running out of this, I need to get some more. Um, I normally just put a bit of this on my nose and here. Um, my nose here and then the Maybelline one I will put that like right under my eyes for like an under eye highlight is that still a thing and then obviously I will put that all over my eyelid as well I didn't think I would like this Maybelline one I just bought this one like on a whim because I needed a concealer and I thought oh, I'll just try this and I was like I actually really like this it blends out like really nice so if you're like a pale gal like me would 10 out of 10 recommend that one so i'm just gonna pat that in with my sponge like so i set my eyelids down with some loose powder just to stop it from creasing and i just prefer to have powder on my eyelids before doing my eyeshadow and then before I go ahead and do my contour I'm actually just going to set my eyebrows well I'm just going to like brush them up um, and I'm just using once again this is by elf and it is the clear brow and lash mascara I'm not gonna lie I don't really use the lash one so when this brow one runs out I'm just going to use the lash one for my brows so it's just like a clear brow gel so I like to just brush my eyebrows up like this the contour I'm gonna be using the Insta Duo contour stick in medium and this is nearly run out so I just literally get this and I draw a little line and I prefer to do my contour like more up here now and then I'm gonna do a bit on my forehead And then I'll just blend that in with this same brush that I did my foundation with. Oh my god, is that hair on my face? No. Oh, it's my hair. It's all good. Got a bit too much foundation on that, so let me just pick that off. So this just gives like a nice little soft contour, if you could even call it that. <laughs> nothing much has really changed in regards to product so I'm using this revolution brow powder so it's just like a little uh, double brow powder and I just use a bit of both and then I'm just using this MAC 266 brush which I've had for like a million years um, and then I'm just gonna start at the front of my brow so I'm just gonna get some product on my brush and then what I'll do is I will squeeze it together like this so that it's like really pointy and then I have actually just got a mirror here because I need to kind of see what I'm doing and then sorry if you can hear my neighbour's dog barking I'm just gonna draw a few little hair strokes So eyebrows are all done, um, so now I'm just going to do a quick bit of eyeshadow. So I'm actually using the original Naked palette, and I'm just going to be using these colours here, so Buck and Naked. So I'm just going to get a fluffy brush, and I'm going to take Naked, <laughs> just going to take off any excess, 
and I'm just going to put that through my crease. So I'm now going to take this palette, um, you've all seen this palette before because I have used it <laughs> a lot, and I'm going to take some of this colour here, which is Glow, and I'm going to take it on the little angle brush, and I'm just going to put that like in my the outer corner, just like that. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my fluffy brush. I'm just going to take this dark brown, which is right in the corner here. Actually, no, sorry, I'm going to go for brownie because it's a bit less dark. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner as well, just to darken it up a little bit. And then just blend that out. Take the colour Sidecar from the Naked palette and I'm just going to put that on with my finger and just kind of drag that over the lid. I will put a tiny bit underneath as well and then I'm gonna take this color here which is called baby doll and I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lid can you see that I hope so I'm just gonna powder my face using these two. I've got the L'Oreal True Match and then the Real Insta Fix and Matte. Um, and I like to use the little thingy and I just mix them together. And I do that one like the T-zone area. And then also under my eyes, I will use just this one. And I feel like this really helps to just set the under eye. And for the rest of my face, I will use a powder brush, just mixing those, those two together. Just make sure to blend that into my neck. using this little bronzing brick. I think this is from number 17. I'm going to take this brush. I'm just going to get all of the colours pretty much. And that all over my face. Highlighter I'm using, sorry, what, what is that? I'm using the Revolution uh, Supreme Highlighter in Ice. I think this is the same one that I always use and I'm just mixing these two colours together on this little Primark brush. And I'm just gonna go here. And then, 
for my nose. I really enjoy a nose highlight. Probably way more than I need, but I just really like highlighter. There we go. And I will just blend that in a tiny bit using this little tiny setting brush. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And then the mascara that I'm using is just the same one as always, which is the Baby Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume by L'Oreal. There we go. I'm also just going to set my eyebrows with this because I'm weird. Not loads, just a little bit, because it darkens the hairs. And then I'm just gonna put on some lipstick and I'm just using this one, which is actually from Aldi. And I just really enjoy it. It's kind of just like a pinky nude. Pat that in with my finger. And then this one is by Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. And I'll just sort of use that to line my lips a bit. There we go. So makeup is all done. Um, I'm just gonna get dressed and do my hair. So here is the makeup. I hope you can see it. Nothing major. But yeah. So I've done my hair. Obviously, as you can see, these are extensions. If you would like to know more about these and about my hair and my hair journey, I will link the video below. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get dressed and I'm back. So I'm dressed and I've just brushed my hair a bit and put in some earrings and I'm feeling great. I'm just wearing this long sleeve like turtleneck with little, it's like ribbed and then just like these little trousers. This top is from Depop, trousers from Primark. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.